Hey guys, today I want to talk about one of the common issues that we see when it comes to girls developing whip. One of the major components of good whip and snap is forearm lag. So when we lead from the elbow with a nice relaxed elbow, the forearm stays behind us, very similar to bat lag when we're batting. The forearm stays behind us, and once our elbow passes our hip, we whip the lower arm through. That's forearm lag, and it's the primary contributor to whip. So one of the things I want to talk about today, you know, we've talked a lot about girls who turn the hand over back here and get pushy and things like hello elbow that make us not have forearm lag or good width. But there are some girls who get to that palm up position and still struggle with whip because they lock their elbows. This is really, really, really common, especially when younger pitchers are first starting or when girls are first transitioning to forearm fire. Maybe they're getting to that palm up position but they're very, very locked and tense in the arm. So now you can see, as I'm coming down, I'm not actually leading from the elbow, despite the fact that my palm is up. My hand is still kind of coming first, and I still kind of have to push and lift the ball on the delivery. One of the keys to creating good forearm lag, and therefore good whip, is having a relaxed, very slightly relaxed bend in the elbow in power K position in the back side of the arm circle. This allows us to not only have the palm up, but lead from the elbow creating that forearm lag, and then whip the arm through nice and loose. As soon as we lock out our elbow or stiffen up our arms without any relaxed bend, we lose our ability to lead from the elbow, we lose our ability to create that forearm lag, even though our palm is still up and we kind of have no choice but to push and lift the ball. So whenever your pitchers are doing, you know, the forearm fire drills, whichever forearm fire drill it may be, or an end game drill, it's primarily the end game drills where I start to see that issue. You really want to make sure that even when they're setting up, we've got a nice relaxed bend in the elbow. We're not locked, we're nice and relaxed. So that when we go to deliver, we've got that loose, relaxed feeling in the elbow, which will allow us to lead from the elbow, creating that forearm lag, and whip through and deliver. So there are a lot of things that can make us pushy and less whippy, and having a locked elbow is definitely one of them. So you want to pay attention to that and make sure we've got that nice relaxedness in our arm. It's kind of the same way if you were to have your pitcher stand, and this is kind of how I reinforce good arm position with my girls, I tell them to just stand with their arms down by their side, as if they were, you know, standing, talking to a family member or talking to a friend. You'll notice how when I stand, I very naturally got just a loose, relaxed bend in the elbow. I'm not standing like this. That's the same feeling we want our arm to have during an arm circle. So when we get to that position back here in power K, we want that relaxedness in our elbow so we can create that forearm lag and whip. So make sure whenever your girls are doing their drills or full pitching, even if they've got their palm up, we want to pay attention to that nice relaxedness in the elbow. I hope you guys have found this helpful. I've got a lot more videos coming your way, and I'll talk to you soon.